General St. Charles, for our purpose, you guys. Uh, speak on the amendment, please. Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have a lot of respect for my colleague from St. Charles, so it uh, pains me to be on opposite sides of this issue. But uh, while I don't doubt his experience and integrity in working firsthand with this law, he confuses the issue that we're discussing today. He's co absolutely correct. Missouri has an excellent law regarding civil asset forfeiture. I have virtually no complaints about our current statute. My complaint is the fact that we're able to bypass that statute with the federal government's help. The amendment maker referenced the title of the federal program that's involved here. Uh, it's called equitable sharing. Now, I don't know exactly what Orwellian marketer they hired to come up with that phrase, but it's not equitable. And I don't know how you get sharing out of seizure. Because that's what we're doing here. We're taking property from people who have not been convicted or even charged in many cases with a crime. And rather than going through our excellent, robust state process that we reformed here many years ago, that property is sent up to the federal government where they take the lion's share of the proceeds from that property, and they keep it for themselves, and then they kick back a small amount to the local government and, and law enforcement that was involved in the seizure. Rather than that money going through our proper system and into education, it, it goes to the local governments. And not only does that completely bypass the will of this body and this chamber as to what Missouri law is, but it completely bypasses the spirit of this process. I have no doubt that asset forfeiture works. We get a lot of bad guys with it. I, I will absolutely agree with my colleague from St. Charles that it, it de deals a serious blow to some of these cartels. But that's not the point. We don't have these protections in law and in our Constitution to protect the bad guys. It's to protect everyone. The, the Fourth Amendment is for all of us, not just the people who are doing things that are wrong. The Tenth Amendment that, that says the states can govern themselves is for all of us, that, that's being completely sidestepped via this federal program. All this amendment is doing is saying that we have to follow existing Missouri law and that we can't send stuff up to the federal government to bypass the will of the General Assembly. That's it. We can continue to go after the bad guys using Missouri law under this amendment. But what we can't do is completely ignore the spirit of the civil asset reform that was robust and that was passed out of this chamber and out of, out of the Senate many years ago by perverting that process via a federal loophole. I strongly support this amendment as well as the underlying bill, and I would encourage the body to vote for it. Thank you.